and welcome to Functional Skills Maths Level 2. Today, we're going to be using number and the number system, specifically ordering, adding, subtracting and comparing amounts or quantities using proper and improper fractions and mixed numbers. Now, a fraction is split into the top called a numerator and the bottom called a denominator. The bottom shows the total number of parts and the top shows how many of those parts are part of the calculation. The fraction is simply just a division. Here's some examples of fractions. In maths, there are three major types of fractions. Now these are proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed numbers. Fractions are the terms used to determine the parts of a whole object. For example, a pizza is divided into four pieces, so each piece of the pizza is represented as a quarter. Here, the one is the numerator and the four is the denominator. A fraction where the numerator is less than the denominator is known as a proper fraction. And here's some examples. Now, it's worth noting that the value of a proper fraction after further simplification is always less than one. Now, even in that first example, seven eighths, it's very close to being one, but it's less than one. The fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator is known as an improper fraction. And here's some examples, nine fifths, eight thirds, 14 quarters. Now it's worth noting that simplification of an improper fraction results in a value which is equal or greater than one, but not less than one. A mixed number is the combination of a whole number and a fraction, but it's basically an improper fraction written in a different way. Mixed numbers can always be converted into a fraction, and an improper fraction can be converted into a mixed number, and a mixed number is always greater than one. Now let's look at converting between improper fractions and mixed numbers. So improper fractions and mixed numbers can be converted quite simply. So if we're going to write 25 quarters as a mixed number, we need to remember that a fraction is just a division. So 25 quarters is 25 divided by 4. Now if we divide 25 by 4, we get 6 with a remainder of one. Now, because in our fraction, our denominator is four, we would write that one as a remainder above a denominator of four. So we get six and a quarter. And if we were to write five and two thirds as an improper fraction, when converting from a mixed number to an improper fraction, we need to multiply the whole number by the bottom and add the top. So five times three is 15, which is the whole number times the denominator. And then we add the numerator, which is two to that 15 to give us 17. Then this number goes above the bottom number of the original fraction and we get 17 thirds. So writing five and two thirds as an improper fraction is 17 thirds. Let's look at adding fractions now. So to add a fraction, they need to have the same bottom number, which is called a common denominator. If the fractions don't have the same bottom number, then we need to turn them into equivalent fractions with the same common denominator. Then all you have to do is add the numerators or the top numbers. So let's look at adding three fifths to one quarter. So first of all, we're gonna turn the denominators into uh, common denominators by finding equivalent fractions. So the easiest way to do this is to look at the first fraction, which is three fifths, and then times the denominator by the denominator of the other fraction. So five times four is 20. We also need to times the numerator by that same four. So three times four is 12. So the equivalent fraction that we're going to use is 12 twentieths. We do the same with the quarter. We start with the one quarter and times the denominator by five this time. And then we also times the numerator, which is one by five as well. And then we end up 
with 5 twentieths as the equivalent fraction. Now, once that step's complete, all we have to do is add the numerators together. So 12 plus 5 equals 17, and we end up with 17 twentieths. Now, you should note that a subtraction is done in exactly the same way, except you subtract the top numbers at the end instead of adding them together. Let's look at an example question now. The question is calculate 2 and 5 eighths plus 11 sixteenths. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video, work out your answer and write your answer on a piece of paper. When you're ready, press play on the video. Did you get it right? Now the answer is 3 and 5 sixteenths. But there's two marks here in this question. And so to get two marks, you have to also show your right your workings out. So step one would be to convert to an improper fraction. Step two would be add the improper fractions together. And then simplify the identified fraction in step three, which gives you your answer. Now let's look at subtracting fractions. In the same way as adding fractions, you can only subtract if the denominators are the same. If the denominators aren't the same, then you'll need to use equivalent fractions with the same number at the bottom. Then you can subtract the numerators. The denominator remains the same. So in this example, what is three fifths minus one half? You can see that the bottom numbers aren't the same. So now we'll use equivalent fractions to find a fraction with the same denominator. We start with the three fifths. The other fraction has a two as a denominator, so we'll times five by two to give us ten. We also need to times the numerator by two, which gives us six tenths as our equivalent fraction. The half, we also need to start with the two as a denominator and multiply that by five to give us ten. Now, because we've multiplied that by five, we also need to multiply the one by five to give us five tenths as another equivalent fraction. So now we're simply subtracting five tenths from six tenths, or five from six, which gives us one or one tenth. Now let's look at comparing fractions now. All types of fractions can be compared, whether they have different numbers on the bottom or they are improper fractions or even mixed numbers. You can determine which ones are bigger and put them in order of size by converting between mixed numbers and improper fractions and using equivalent fractions as well. So in this example, which is bigger, seven fifths or one and a third, you'll notice we have an improper fraction and a mixed number. So the fractions need to be in the same form. So we're going to start by converting one and one third into an improper fraction. Now that's because improper fractions are easier to compare than mixed numbers. So to do this, we multiply the whole number by the denominator, which is one times three, and then we add the numerator to give us our new numerator. So one and a third is now four thirds as an improper fraction. Now, the bottom numbers still remain different, so we need to find an equivalent fraction next. So now we're looking at seven fifths or four thirds, which is bigger. So now we can continue now that we've converted from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Let's find a common denominator next. So just like before, we're starting with seven fifths. We need to times our denominator by three. We also need to times the numerator, the seven by three, which gives us 21 fifteenths. And then when we're looking at the four thirds, we start with the three of the denominator times that by five. We also need to times the numerator, which is four by five, which gives us 20 fifteenths. And you can see quite clearly that 21 is bigger than 20. So seven fifths is just bigger than one and one third. Now it gets a little trickier when you have more than two fractions, but it can be done in the same way. So the first value here 
is a proper fraction. The second value is a mixed number. And the third value is an improper fraction. So let's start by converting the mixed number into an improper fraction. So if we times the whole number by the denominator, we get five and add the numerator, we get nine. So that's nine fifths now. So it becomes a little bit easier to compare the three values, but let's take it another step further and find a common denominator for these three denominators. So we have six, five, and four, and we need to find the first value that all three of these multiply into. Now with a bit of work, you will find that 60 is the first or lowest value that the three can share. Now, with the first value, five six, I've had to multiply the six by 10 to get 60. So I also need to do that with the numerator, which gives us 50 sixtieths. With the second value, nine fifths, I've had to multiply the denominator by 12 to reach 60. Therefore, nine twelves are 108, which gives us 108 sixtieths. The final value, five quarters, I've multiplied the four by 15 to reach, reach 60. Therefore, five fifteens is 75, which gives us 75 sixtieths. So it's really easy to see now that the middle value is the greatest and the left value is the least. And there's the correct order. Now let's look at another example question. Which of the following values is the largest? So what I'd like you to do is pause the video, have a go at answering the question, and then press play when you're ready to find out the answer. Did you get it right? Now with this question and the four values, it's quite easy to discount one of those. The value to the furthest to the left, the 851 thousandths, is actually less than one. And you can see that the other three values, two of them are mixed numbers and one's an improper fraction. And if you remember, we said they have to be at least one or above. Now, to compare the remaining three values, we should be converting to the same format. So if we convert the middle value, which is an improper fraction to a mixed number, you end up with two and one thirds. And then it becomes quite obvious that that is the largest value. So the answer is seven and seven thirds. Now you might need to calculate the fraction of something. In these cases, of means times or multiply. So in this question, what is one thirty second of 14,656? Remembering that of means times, then we're asking what's one thirty second times 14656. But if you think back to what we said at the beginning, a fraction is simply a division. The actual calculation that we need to do is 1 divided by 32 times 14,656. And if you did that on your calculator right now, you should end up with the answer 458. Now, let's recap. A fraction where the numerator is less than the denominator is known as a proper fraction. For example, one third. A fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator is known as an improper fraction. For example, nine fifths. And a mixed number is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. And it's basically a, an improper fraction written in a different way. So one and two thirds would become five thirds. Thanks for participating and we'll see you next time.